Welcome back. It is John. It is New Guitar Thursday. Actually on Thursday. I almost forgot about it because we did Unbox Wednesday, which is not a thing, but it was yesterday because we made it a thing. So maybe we're going to continue that unbox. It depends on if we get things to unbox on Wednesday, really. Uh, but it's New Guitar Thursday. I want to go over some of the stuff, including that new Atkin guitar. We'll talk about that in a minute, as well as some other cool things that came in um, and some uh, really cool uh, packages that we built. Uh, just lots of cool products that came in, so I'm pretty excited about it. One of the things, I don't know if we got to talk about this enough, and I wanted to. I think we kind of missed this one. So on New Guitar Thursday, we'll talk about this. Boucher came out with a Studio Goose with a vintage pack. So Studio Goose usually has the curved peg head. This one has the uh, squared one. Mahogany back and sides, maple binding. Uh, this has a thermo cured Addy top. Uh, really cool guitar. Herringbone on a mahogany guitar. Herringbone, you know why? Because you should, that's why. It's a great sounding guitar. I'm gonna see if I can play it a little bit. We're gonna find out if I can play today. <laughs> If you haven't played any of the Boucher guitars, you absolutely should. Great sounding guitar, great feeling guitar. Um, definitely has become a shop favorite uh, brand and, and actually very affordable for what all you get. Great, punchy. And one of the things that the Vintage Pack does, not just a squared peg head, but gives you an inch and three quarter nut versus the 11 16th on the BG52 that we have in here, M. Uh, which is also a fabulous guitar, but this one will be a 42 with that vintage pack, and then this also gives you that thermo-cured top. Um, definitely something you might want to check out. So that one's one of the things I wanted to talk about. And Robin Boucher came up with the guitar side of thermo-curing, right? He was. He was one of the very first people to do the thermo-curing. I don't know if he was the first. I know that it was actually popular in violins uh, before guitars, but in the guitar world, I know he was one of the ones that was just really pushing it forward. Definitely one of the very early runs of thermocuring or torification uh, in, in that realm. Uh, what else did we get in? We got in this just today, a consignment. This is kind of a cool one, a Martin guitar. This is one of the limiteds that came out. Uh, I believe these came out in the early 2000s. Um, this one is a Keb Mo signature model. And it's not what you would expect a Keb Mo guitar to be. Uh, I found it very interesting, but I know that these really were that. There's a signature inside to tell you that it is, as well as a signature in the inlay. But a Koa Dreadnought. Uh, I believe these are Sitka Spruce Tops. Uh, no, Engelman. Look at that. Engelman, beautiful Koa in a Dread. Uh, has the Ivroid binding. I think it looks very attractive with that uh, thin abalone rosette. Um, a good sounding guitar and honestly this guitar is in excellent condition uh, for its time period these were uh, there was a hundred or this is number 109 out of the 252 that they built of this and uh and it's actually again a fabulous sounding guitar it feels like an inch and three quarters I haven't measured it So another great guitar to check out in here. Uh, since we're doing New Guitar Thursday, we're going to hit them all. We'll do this one. <clears throat> all right, the one we talked about yesterday, we all have been in love with this. Finally have it priced and put on the shelf. The Atkin guitar, as a new uh, dealer for Atkin, we're really, really happy to be part of it. Um, this is the white rice model, rosewood back and sides. Um, 
thermo cured Sitka spruce top has that vintage finish on it, which is really thin and uh, also has kind of that uh, little bit of the finish checking look to it. That's not like over the top. It's very vintage finish checked, um, a very, very thin finish on this. Um, but everybody's been in love with this guitar. Very punchy, a large sound hole. And again, you're listening to this through my lavalier mic here, so it may not be the best uh, version of it, so you need to come in and check it out. But. Very balanced, very, this is not a boomy rosewood guitar, which is really kind of a, a very cool thing to have. Yeah, I like, you know, it's not often you get a great rosewood guitar that has so much power and depth, but is not boomy and, and over the top, so. So another great one, and of the bunch that we have in here, probably one of the better priced ones, but we got it priced at $43.49. Um, yeah, definitely something you need to come check out. I got one more guitar, as well as some other things I want to show you. Um, well, let's do the show thing, and then I'll show you. We got a guitar came in from FERC. These guys are all standing around, not doing anything. Jeremy, why are you doing look at Look at how business Jeremy is these days. He's got nice dressing up nice. He's got his uh, gangster pinstripe pants on. He feels like... Uh, he belongs in Dick Tracy movie or something like that <laughs> with his mask. Carry on. Carry on. He doesn't care for what I just said. New thing that we just, uh, well, actually, I didn't get to do. I, I was consulted. That was really all I did. Um, the instrument care kits. This was a really, really smart guy, and thanks to the staff that put all this together, which are some really important care kits that you should have for your guitar. We have the basic one, level one. Um, it has a pro winder, uh, the music uh, guitar detailer, and a decent humidifier and decent polishing cloth. Uh, normally, that all those priced together would be at $50. We got them on sale for $39, so you can get that full kit at that. Um, we have the level two, which has that same pro winder. We love the Diderio pro winder, by the way. Cleaning, uh, it could be a guitar detailer or the one, I believe. Uh, depending on what finish you have on your guitar. Microfiber cloth, humidipacks, which we all talked about how great those are for humidi humidity. The instrument mats, we love these work mats. These are a great way to, to help you out on your uh, workbench so you can change your strings, do a really good job. We, they're soft, they're perfect for instruments. And then the cradle cube, which again we use, we use the mats and the cradle cube, which is multiple angles, perfect for setting up your guitar. Mandolin, mandolin, banjo, different heights, different instruments, has a place to store all your cubby stuff. You can see that right in there. Keep all of your tools, all of your stuff inside there when you're not working on it, as well as, again, those polishing cloths, um, microfiber cloths. That one normally is $100 worth of stuff, $79. Really good deal for that as well. And then last, the Ultimate Level 3. This has all that same stuff that we just talked about with more. A grip peg winder, has the grip cutter, um, we love this. This is a cool tool, the peg puller that uh, is comfortable. This is easily just slide it underneath there and it just rocks it out of the place. No marks, no dents, no nothing. We really do love that one. Um, and then of course all those same controls. And then this is a really cool. This cleaning tool set gets underneath a lot of your spots, has a, a great uh, deal to get underneath the frets, underneath the strings, even a smaller one to get into those really tight spaces a brush to get up near that uh, area up above and then I believe there's even one for under on the peg head stuff so all the major surfaces you can get cleaned and definitely a must-have uh, tool so normally hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff 119 these are great things to get in here uh, also got in a big batch of LR bag stuff that we've been missing for a while including the anthems are back in stock um, all those we got in uh, somebody was asking me for a Venue DI. We got that back in stock. We got the uh, Voice Print DI back in stock, which again, if you haven't been seeing the, the marketing on that, 
very, very cool products. So um, check that out. All right, last one. I got a guitar. Came in. This was just came in. We, I don't know if it's, I think it's, is it online yet? I don't think it is. There you go, Trent. Yeah, this will be next for Trent to get in. We just got an unboxed product has been built. FERC sent us another cool guitar. This is from their Blue Series, which is their more uh, inexpensive series. That's the reason the gig bag. This is a Blue Plus OM cutaway. Walnut back in size. And this is going to be more in that matte finish. Very, very light finish. And then a full gloss on the spruce top on this. OM cutaway. Um, affordable good sounding guitar actually we were playing it over in the shipping room this sounds great it looks great and won't break the bank and of course FERC does an amazing job with their guitars more stuff coming from them I just got shipment notifications from Eastman today more of that's gone on its way we've got bourgeois guitars I think there's gonna be five over the next three or four weeks that are gonna be making their way into the shop I'm really working hard to keep uh, inventory in here, so hopefully you guys are following. Oh, I forgot that. Look at that. Jax has got it right there. That's brand new. Show them the new stickers. Those just came in. Those are the best. That's what everybody really wanted was a Chapman sticker on their uh, car, guitar, whatever. If you want one, we've got it. It is uh, the new stickers as well as those Monroe stickers. Those are great. And we also have some other merchandise that uh, is, really, well, we got lots of stickers. We have the new hats in. We have the old structured hats. We have new shirts coming in. We just got it all. So it's New Guitar Thursday. Lots and lots of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed checking it all out. And uh, I guess we will catch you all next week. So have a good one.